Michel Damsen. Michel Damsen. Man my Michel Madsen. Michel Damsen. Michel Madsen. Michel Michel Madsen. Michel 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 You're listening to the BBC World Service. And this is a program about how a new story using a presidential candidate of corruption was written in my name, or almost in my name. The name did not exist, as you mentioned. Which name? Michel Madsen. Michel Madsen Madsen or Michel Damsen? Michel Damsen, I saw. Michel Madsen. It's getting a bit mixed up, isn't it? If you don't have a job, I'm a freelance journalist, and I investigate corruption in West Africa. I'm also a performer and a poet, but storytelling really is at the heart of everything I do. This story was published last year during the run-up to the election in Senegal, and everyone thought it was written by me. It wasn't. In this program, I want to try and find out who did write it. It's my fake news agent. The challenges of exploiting natural resources in Africa by Michel Damsen. This is the story I'm talking about. As oil prices in Africa are occurring with increasing frequency, European and American oil giants are competing on a continent that they had previously abandoned. Okay, that's quite a lot. However, most of the African states whose land is incredibly rich in natural resources are buckling under the weight of corruption. Again, nothing particularly remarkable there. There's no sort of solid examples of anything. I wonder what they're getting at. Senegal, a small country in West Africa, currently in the throes of an election period, seems to be a perfect illustration of a dramatic situation. Okay, so it's about Senegal. There is a lot to investigate there. A young prodigy from Senegal politics, Usman Sonko, former tax inspector, has already benefited from the financial assistance of a large European company aimed at securing a successful election campaign in return for offers of attractive oil contracts. Hang on, what was that? A young prodigy from Senegal politics, Usman Sonko, former tax inspector, has already benefited from the financial assistance of a large European company. Company aimed at securing him a successful election campaign in return for offers of attractive oil contracts. And a series of allegations. Who drops something like that at the end of an opinion piece without being backed up? It's the sort of thing that can swing an election. And where did it appear? I've never heard of the website that published the story before. It's called Modern Gaia. Let's have a closer look at it. Okay, www.moderngana.com Modern Ghana. It's a news website. It's, it's got a pretty snazzy logo, which is representing the Ghana flag. flag. Lots of adverts. And then all of the top stories look as if they are all about Ghana. Ghana. Check out. And then we've got sports, Africa news. And there we have... Opinions. Africa news. Uh, and this is where the Michelle Damsen story first appeared. Not anymore. When I type it in, you just get uh, nothing. That story has come down. Sonko was one of the main contenders to beat Macky Sall in the presidential election last January. And what this story is hinting at is that he's been bribed by an international oil company. This could be deeply damaging to his campaign. So where did Mum Gong get the story from? I tracked down the website CEO Bright Awusu and gave him a call. Hello? 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 
Yeah, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, Bright. Bright. This is Michelle uh, Madsen Michelle calling Madsen. from the BBC. How are you? From BBC. I'm doing well. Thank you. Great. I'm, I'm really good. You. Thank you very much. As you can hear, the line isn't great. So let me summarise some of what we talked about. Right, explain that the author had been in touch with Molly Donna via email and WhatsApp before the publication of the story. This man, who by the name of Michelle Damson, was very persistent. He was willing to do it. He said, No, 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 he No, he said, 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 I don't know much about the Franco-Cantrics and the Italian people. I know there was a campaign in Senegal. Too bright and the English team of Molly Garner. This was just another opinion. 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 Gil mana def jauh 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 ni? Dan ini jod ay telefon you beri, akai email. Adik open nak nyom degu nyu kala ma angle. Dan ini kalian kuring di traduir. Gil mana joko agnyom? Di France. Juga kita telefon yang mi ak email yang mi beri deluat file sini kalau sufe cukai benda kerja angkut terlalu. Majud fa ay email yang beri ak mesaj vokal yang beri new detailan cian macam vokal yang mesaj yang ni. Here are just a few examples. Hello, I'm a Senegalese journalist. I'm a journalist from Senegal. I'm a journalist from Senegal. My name has been mentioned. Hello dear, we are very worried since we have seen an article supposed to be written by you. Are you the author or is it a fake? Are you the author of the article or do you know oil and the Senegalese politician Ousmane Sonko? Do you know that Ousmane Sonko is a guerra? Everyone suspects that I've written about Ghanas and that I'm the person accusing Ousmane Sonko of corruption. My name is all over the place. They are linked to the flurry of news stories about Sonko and the British firm Tullo Oil. Sometimes they use my real name. Sometimes they use Michelle Damson. Do you know what I'm talking about? 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 Do you know what I'm talking Dead in the centre of the page. Confidential is stamped in red. The title of one references an Oxfam project. The title of chief financial officer Les Wood is named in both. Meanwhile, Tala Oil have put out a statement on Twitter. They're saying the documents are obviously fakes. I need to go to Senegal and find out what's going on. The gentle Khawfouf, Bakham, and a can moving bubu. Kilinga kama mtena mmoja wa logger ak petrol, pini jini Usman Songo.